All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Akeen, here to give you another preview on a quarterback headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For this blog, here to talk about Nathan Peterman, the quarterback coming out of the Pitt Panthers. Now, he's hailing from Jacksonville, Florida, and he was actually first um, started off his career as a Tennessee volunteer, but was outbeat by fellow uh, draftee and Josh Dobbs. He's another uh, prospect that I'm going to be doing a report on. But Peterman had a pretty couple of decent seasons for the Pitt Panthers, decided to transfer to fit <laughs> to uh, play for Coach Narduzzi and the Pitt Panthers. Now, over the course of the last two seasons, he did have over 20 touchdown passes over these last two years. Now, let's talk, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, he definitely has a good athletic ability to move around the pocket, especially in bootleg runoffs. Does a pretty good job throwing on the run. And he definitely un understands um, the system uh, on the offensive play, and he can learn offenses pretty quickly. He has a pretty good football IQ, and I do like the fact that he was um, tut tutelage under Coach uh, Canada, at, um, a good quarterback coach. And he definitely had to um, learn a deep three different offenses over the last three seasons um, for the Pitt Panthers. So it showed that he has good ability to understand an offense and learn. I think he could be good, a good solid backup in the National Football League. Now, he does have a couple of weaknesses, though. His accuracy is the number one thing I've noticed. He has just a 60% accu um, uh, passing accuracy, and he has adequate arm strength. Doesn't really have the arm strength that you're looking for, and he cannot play make all of the right up. Uh, he cannot make all of the throws that you need a quarterback to make at the next level. So that's why just earlier I mentioned that he could be used as a good solid back or quarterback with good knowledge. But hopefully he could um, turn things around and be a good sleeper for this year's draft. But we will see. Now for my overall evaluation, I actually see him as a late fifth round draft choice because of the fact that the arm strength is a big concern to me. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have one more scout report for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.